Kibi issues press release says Ms. DSF lied on him. Hey guys, and welcome to True Stories with Ifoma, and this is the concluding story between Skibi and Ms. DSF. Now, all the while Ms. DSF has been talking about her ordeal with in what seems to be the shortest but messiest relationship in town, Skibi has been mute. But surprisingly, this morning, his record label issued a press release and it reads, the label has been inundated by messages and telephone calls from friends and well-wishers regarding an interview granted by one docker shola fapsin hey she don't turn to buy one <laughs> a strange lover of our artist mr abe elias while the above matter has been referred to our lawyers for appropriate review and action we wish to state for the records that Number one, Skibi and DSF once went on a vacation on the 19th of June 2022 and returned to Lagos 25th June 2022. Two, the trip was paid by the estranged lover as a birthday gift to Skibi as she stated that she would not be around for Skibi's birthday, which is 5th of July 2022. Uh-uh, Dockers, you not tell us rich like this, so. Okay, three, the villa where Skibi and estranged lover lodged was robbed on 22nd June 2022. Uh -uh. as well as other neighboring villas and the following items belonging to skibi also were reported missing number one two diamond necklaces one rose gold cartier wristwatch diamond rings four pieces one iphone and cash in different currencies the matter was reported to the tanzanian police immediately on 22nd june 2022 and statements of all the victims were taken including that of skibi and his estranged lover Skibi and his estranged no longer felt safe in the said villa. Accordingly, Skibi booked and paid for a new villa for the rest of their vacation. Upon their return to Lagos, Skibi bought a new phone for his estranged lover to replace his her stolen phone. Prior to the trip, Skibi had gotten his estranged lover a new MacBook Pro laptop, which she did not travel with, and as such, it was her old laptop that was stolen. Accordingly, there was no need for Skibi to replace this item. Skibi's Katia Rose Gold watch was stolen in the raid and he bought the silver variant of the wristwatch in September 2022 as the stolen watch has not been recorded or found by the Tanzanian police. The new watch was purchased in South Africa and delivered by to Lagos by Skibi's friend Larry Gaga. Please remain assured that Skibi is a law-abiding citizen and he will be seeking redress for the defamatory statements made by the estranged lover in court of law. Oh, hmm. After this press release, I really don't know what to say. I don't know if Skibi is lying or DSF is lying. But one thing I know for sure is this. A lot of guys appear rich, but they're actually broke because they spend a lot of money on their outlook. They want to look expensive, but they don't have money in the bank account. That I know for sure. Somebody with a really fat account will never spend so much on looks. Yeah, you can say, oh, they're in entertainment. We know. And that's why the ones who spend money on luxury items like jewelries, phones, cars, etc. are always the, quick, the quickest to get broke, you know when their music is no more as amazing as it used to be but well that's their business well dsf you heard what he said now let's see how the thing go but there was something dsf posted she said and it's funny because if i really decided to talk that boy would commit suicide so thank me dwarf ah <laughs> oh, I'm saying that dwarf. <laughs> if i'm lying talk make i bust everywhere today i have time oh crrr. Hey, well, I took on you. Oh, yeah, now talk. Oh, God, they say make you talk. All this oppression is no fist stop anything. Talk, talk something. Make she bust everywhere. Make we just really know what's going happen for this on a trip. Okay, now, um, you heard when he said he bought her MacBook. Dear self, you don't tell us, say they buy you MacBook. You don't tell us, say they buy you anything. You just made it look like he was a poor musician wandering around, uh, around Lagos. This one has to carry, carry, get her CB. Now, after the press release, DSF said she wouldn't be entertaining any interviews soon, but in court, she would drop and bring all receipts. Next day, on, on her post, she says it goes with a caption Anything I said, I stand on it. The next caption says, I fear nobody, only Jehovah. Gang, gang. This matter go long, Sha, but Skibi. 
no be like person we go carry this matter go cause so it might just die here that's all we have on today on true stories with informa don't forget to like follow subscribe share to everyone you know i love you bye